Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Today we're gonna to be doing a song that many of you have been recommending, which is Christmas Truth by Sabaton. We have heard Sabaton on the channel before, very good heavy metal band from Sweden, and they often create songs with a particular historical focus. Today's song is about what I think was one of the greatest moments in history, which was on December 24th, 1914. It was a truce that occurred in the middle of World War I. It was in Belgium, and in one side of the trenches you had the German soldiers, and one side you had the British soldiers. And they started spontaneously singing Christmas carols back and forth to each other. And then they started crossing over the lines and having games that they even played with each other. They had true peace. There's about 100,000 people that found stillness on Christmas Eve. I think it's such, such a beautiful moment. And what a wonderful thing to write a song about too. Sabaton has said that they wanted to do this song for years, but it really took them years to write it because it's such a beautiful and tender subject. They really wanted to get it right. So I'm excited to hear what it has turned out like. Let's get to it. I have to say, I'm always a little hesitant with seeing much violence, and I incredibly appreciate that they have set the scene here to really show this is this is World War I, one, this is a trenches. Um, we know those were awful, and you can only imagine how awful they were, but I've done lots of reading about that situation, and uh, it's just... I feel like you need to have that context set before you can appreciate the peace that followed it, that was spontaneously agreed upon by hundreds of thousands of people. So um, kudos to them for setting it like this. just want to discuss in this intro, you have some typical Christmas instruments and also the theme reminds me of Carol of the Bells. They're using a few of the pitches that you find in Hark to the Bells and it's uh, so you have that and then you also have the tubular bells which are mixed into the instrumentation and the celeste. Anytime you want something to sound Christmassy, if you add celeste, it's one of the main ways to make it sound Christmassy or magical. Add sleigh bells with Celeste and no one will think that it's anything other than holiday times. Let's go back just a little bit, listen for those. And listen to that reference too for uh, Carol of the Bells.
the silence on a cold winter day. After many months on the battlefield, and we were used to the violence, then all the candles went silent, and the snow fell. Voices sang to me from no man's land. He has so much raw emotion in his voice. It's, it's shocking. It has that roughness, the grittiness that you might expect from a soldier's voice um, of yelling over battlefield, um, of probably not having good hydration, smoke, all of the things that would irritate vocal folds, of course. Um, that, but the, there's so much angst in it. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that in his voice. Ah, whew. Yeah, it, it like goes to the heart right away. keep going because it feels like that they've shaped this in a way that's really really fascinating to me and I needed to hear the progression it there's so much loss in that very first part so much grief and when we got to the we are all we are all friends part I got goosebumps I like the way that they panned the sound there and you could hear lots of people essentially coming together and saying we're all friends uh, and then there's an uplifting element to, I'm not sure if it's the chorus, but to the part right after that. Um, it really felt like um, there was that moment of brotherhood and peace that they had found. And they've achieved this all just with harmony and singing and, and different kinds of production. It's very, very successful, in my opinion, of um, bringing that emotion into the music that you can imagine from the time. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Um, here. Oh, sure. And we were used to the violence. I love his image. Then all the candles went silent. And the snow fell. <laughs> Voices sang to me from no man's land. Wow, um, it, it's just so successfully written. The time that they spent on this, I, I feel, again, going back and listening to that a second time, this, this really is achieving what I think they went out to achieve or set out to achieve. Um, 
and very interesting to me, far from home, right at that point was when they switched back into essentially fundamental, more minor key, which brings back some sadness to us. Also, I'm really liking the way that we had that Carol of the Bells-ish. Um, it's, a, it's a little, essentially like a little composition nugget that they have. And he switches it and modulates it. So it still has a feeling of a little bit of Carol of the Bells, but they've moved it and really made it something on their own. It's in intriguing to hear that how that has shifted throughout different modulations. Okay, let's let's hear this next verse. This is making me tear up. It's beautiful. <laughs> but imagining what that first person out faced, that moment of suspense, that's really special. It's really, really special. And um, madness and thinking about the madness that maybe people thought the madness that that first person who stepped out must have uh, been stricken with to be willing to go out there where so many people had died, make themselves an easy target. And oh, I, I really love, love the way that this is bringing up so much emotion. Oh, interesting to me also that the first time they had, we are all, we are all. And this time they had, we were all, we were all friends. So it definitely sounds like um, that moment might've been passed, which, uh, brings me to one other thing that is really interesting about the truce in 1914. Uh, I believe that there were attempts to make a truce sort of similar in 1915, but they were very discouraged. And by 1916, I think it was pretty much down the the opposite sides. Basically said, no, this is not okay. You cannot have a truce. And that really saddens me. I understand maybe some person might have taken advantage of it and ruined the whole situation, but that that beautiful moment on Christmas Eve, right? That that peaceful moment really only occurred that one time. And even though people might have tried to go back to it, I, it seems like it was impossible to really go back to again. Ah, I'm gonna go back a little bit. course, I can easily imagine a whole auditorium of people, a whole field of people singing it together. Uh, congratulations to Sabaton, uh, to Joachim, their lead singer, and the entire group for writing a chorus that is catchy, that brings a feeling of brotherhood to everybody that's going to be in their audience and calls back to such a precious moment in history. Uh, I really appreciate what they've done with the video too. It's it's very touchy. Christmas on the front, far from home.
Um, also wanted to mention that there's something really beautiful about music and the way it brings people together. This all started because people were singing carols back and forth in the trenches in their various languages. And, uh, and then also games and how they bring people together because they played I read that it was football and I thought American football, but now that I think about it, it was definitely not American football. I don't think that was over here at that point. I think they mean soccer uh, was being played as well. So, um, yeah, I love that so many, so many things that bring people together. <sighs> beautiful Ugh, I really I just like want to lose it right now because it's so touching to think about this moment um I love that in the orchestration we had um it had a lot of strings that happened almost like there might have been like a teensy bit of maybe a synthesized choral in the background there was definitely like a bed of sound that would remind you of epicness in a triple a film you have metal and um, obviously electronic guitar, those kinds of sounds and, and really big drums. But then uh, within there, when it sort of dropped out and went lower, you ended up having that triple A feeling that uh, I think very accurately conveyed the epicness that was in this moment. And it then showed us the pictures of what the fighting was like and the willingness to put it all to rest to peace and to honor people that had died and uh, and reach across the trench and be friends for a bit. Wow, amazing. So let's go back. Why I didn't hear is that I didn't What a great decision to drop most of the instruments, keep just the drums going and make it feel like a chorus. Choruses have a, a definite uniting feel to them. It's all voices together. Right? It's all people saying these things together, uh, saying these words, singing these words. A lot of times, even in musicals, when you can't just say something anymore, you have more emotion behind it, you sing it. And I love that it has that much feeling behind it. You couldn't just say it. You couldn't just shout it out anymore. You got to sing it. And it definitely has um, a conviction to it. I love that they drop the instruments out there to bring in that human uh, quality, that resilience, that declaration of these voices. Let's go back just a little bit.
Oh man. Thinking about going back and having to go back to a war in the morning, I think must have been one of the most difficult things. Um, I love the the way they put this into words. We don't think about tomorrow, the battle will commence, and just that commitment to saying, hey, we're gonna have peace for just a bit. And that's it's just beautiful. And the heaviness that they must have returned to war with is immense. It's immense. Seen a war that never ends. Today we're all brothers. We drink and unite. Now Christmas has arrived and the snow turns the ground white. On Christmas on the front line we walk among our friends. We don't think about tomorrow. The battle will commence when we celebrate to Christmas. We thought about our friends, those who never made it home when the battle had commenced. There's your heart to the bells. This is really pretty what we're getting into. Um, but I just want to make a comment. I think it's really interesting that they had 2021 carving out in the cross as well. Um, definitely has some strong suggestions there. I know uh, that there's a lot of division in the world at this point, And I'm sure that uh, it's there's going to be a lot of division felt at various family gatherings or online, offline, wherever it is. So uh, I feel like it's an encouraging message of, hey, put this to peace for a bit. Celebrate Christmas in peace. And uh, I just really appreciate that message. Okay, we're going to go back a little bit. <sighs> I heard this. I, I've not confirmed it. Uh, I'm looking through the credits to be sure, but I believe that in this sing out that we have for Jansen, I'm not sure if it's layered. I'm curious if there's somebody else in here. Um, I'm going to keep going and then go back and listen to it all again, and hopefully, we'll see it in the credits. <laughs> So I think that this is just for then uh, with layered vocals at the end. I'm going to come back to this. So this entire end scene has such beauty in Flora's voice. I love that they've chosen her for this particular sing out because she has so much balance in her tone. There is a sadness in it. There's 
a depth in it, but there's a clarity in it and a hope in it at the same time. I love having a slightly more classical sound as well. And I think that makes a lot of sense considering some of the epic strings that they had. Additionally, there's um there's a certain longing that I hear in her voice. And I think that the harmonies are really, really well written here too. It's a wonderful, um, a wonderful addition to the whole song. So um, let's keep on going now. Whoops. Notice the consistency of her vowel. Her ah vowel has a gorgeous coloring to it. It's not just ah, there's a, a slight darkness to it. Um, and yet there's also this ping. So it almost sounds sometimes a little more rounded, not as bright of an ah. If you're singing in Italian ah, usually you would choose a really bright ah. And, she has a slightly darker with a little more rounding to it, but she maintains that space throughout. And a lot of times singers, especially less experienced singers, will lose that consistent vowel placement, but Floor doesn't lose it ever. trenches for this film. Uh, man, just a huge shout out to the entire team for this video. This clearly was a huge production. They did an amazing job and it's something that's special, that's different. I was not expecting this level of production and emotional capture. curious what some of that in sound was. I think we have a tubular bell there, but it almost sounded like we have something scraping it as well. It sounds like there's a layer of something scraping and a layer of something hitting it. Um, almost sounds like a Tibetan bowl in some ways of the way we would um, go around that circle. Uh, one more time at the very end. Beautiful. That video got me. It really uh, made the tears and the choking up start to happen. And wow, uh, I think that they did a brilliant job. So touching, so moving. I love that a metal band has come into this and brought the aggressive feelings that I think many of us associate with metal. Um, it brings those out. You get the epicness as well from a lot of the compositional elements. And at the same time, there are moments of tenderness. Floor's voice at the end was a really good example of that tenderness. And when you have just one voice singing, we are all, we are all, and the way it bounces between different voices, the production of that was brilliant and on point. And even the all acapella chorus, you it 
it really all worked together in something that I think is a total masterpiece. Just wow. 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 I expected to be wowed, but I did not expect to be this wowed. This was really, really special. Thank you to all of you that have been recommending it. Uh, Thank you. Just thank you. I'm so glad that I got to hear it. And it's something special and different. And everyone should be hearing this right now. Everyone should be listening to it. I hope you will support the band. Go listen to the link that we put in the about section of the video. Listen to it on their channel all the way through without any interruptions. Bring tissues. And if there are other songs you would like to hear on this channel, please write those in the comments below. That's where we look for your recommendations, your suggestions the most. And by the way, we do have a playlist of additional metal songs. So if you'd like to check that out, you can click over here and I'll see you in another video soon.